Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here talking with my friend Kelly Broadback over at Teledyne FLIR. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm doing great, Patrick. It's nice seeing you again. It's nice to see you again, too. I always like to say, as always, I love to be on the show with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's becoming a bit of a tradition at this point. However, unlike the last couple times we've talked, when you admittedly had some cool cameras, but they were sort of for OEM integration, you guys have done something, well, I can't say FLIR's never done before, but this is definitely a powerful new development. What do we got going on? Well, today we're introducing our new Cyrus drone. It's a professional drone intended for public safety, law enforcement, firefighters, uh, and industrial inspection. So this is for commercial pilots, professional pilots, and it's loaded with features. I'm ready to tell you all about it with one big surprise at the end. Uh-oh, I, I don't even know what that is, guys. It's catching me off guard here. So let, let's start, obviously, Teledyne FLIR, thermal imaging. Tell me about the camera. Okay, so the, the payload uh, has an EOIR sensor. It's our boson camera, 640 by 512 resolution, radiometric. So it's got the spot meter, isotherm, region of interest, all the things that you'd expect from FLIR for a thermal camera. Great resolution. That's paired with a EO sensor that will do 16 megapixels of imagery in sort of normal flight mode. It has a 20 megapixel mapping mode. But because the native sensor has a lot of pixels packed into it, when we zoom, and it's a digital zoom, when, when we zoom in uh, visible, we have 30% more pixels on target than any of our competitors. So our zoom images look really beautiful. They're not blurry, cloudy type stuff that you might expect you know, from a typical drone. This is something new. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the advantage, I suppose, of a drone from an imaging company. So now let's talk about it as an aircraft, sort of what's your, your basic you know, flight performance, how long, et cetera. Sure. So this is a great drone. It's easy to fly. Any Part 107 pilot is going to know what to do with it. You can get it in the air in about a minute from the time you turn on the aircraft and turn on the controller. 31-minute uh, uh, flight rating, so that would be your ideal flight conditions, no wind, uh, five meters per uh, second kind of speed. I typically get 26 minutes out of it doing what I like to do, hovering, flying kind of fast. It's got a sport mode, it'll do 40 miles an hour. It's got Addy mode, of course. Uh, uh, position mode is uh, 11 miles per hour, and it really handles great under those uh, conditions. Two batteries, they're hot swappable. The payload comes off, it is swappable. Uh, this time next year, we'll probably have two more payloads in addition to the one that I just described. We're working on some things that are specialty for public safety and specialty for infrastructure and, and inspection. Those will come with some special software as well. So this is intended to be a product for the professional pilot, uh, a toolbox, if you will, something that can grow with you, something that's future-proof. I mean, we really, really want this to be the tool of choice for American pilots. Made in Taiwan and the USA. Yeah, nothing's coming out of the People's Republic of China or any such country. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, now I want to ask because you mentioned first responders. First responders don't always get to choose to wait till the sun comes out to go flying. Will this thing take the weather? Uh, it's IP54 rated and it is not geofence. So a first responder showing up to a sensitive area doesn't have to call someone else to get permission to fly. They can just fly. And like I said, pull it out of the box, turn it on, you're in the air in about a minute. Now, something a lot of people worry about these days, particularly with drones which do come from the People's Republic of China, is data security. What's your guys' take on that? Well, one of the key design features of this is all about data security. So you do not need to create an account to fly this. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi that connects to upload pictures anywhere. There's no cellular connection to anything. All the data goes on to the SD card on the drone itself. Uh, when you're done flying, you pull out your SD card, put it in your computer, put it into any post-flight software that you want to use. Uh, right now, of course, FLIR Thermal Studio, uh, Pix4D, Drone Base is uh, one of them. There's several that you can uh, work with. Uh, for post-flight analysis. It's all private, right? It's total control uh, with the pilot, total privacy uh, with the data. That's how this thing is designed. 
Now, one thing I noticed just looking over the hardware was I didn't see any collision avoidance sensors, no binocular vision system. Do you have collision avoidance? We do. It's a radar-based system. It's on the front of the drone. It projects a cone about 34 degrees uh, in size. It will see uh, an object as small as the controller. 90 feet away, 100 feet away, assuming you're flying in uh, position mode, so 10 miles an hour. Uh, if you're coming in at 40 miles an hour, it might not pick that up. Uh, but the return to home feature will engage the collision avoidance, uh, bring it back at 11, 10, 11 miles an hour. If you happen to come upon something uh, that's in the way, it'll just stop and say, hey, pilot, there's something in my way, fly me around this. Uh, there's also sensors underneath that detect the ground, so for a nice, smooth, uh, soft landing, but also just to see where the ground is for safety reasons. Fabulous. Well, sounds like a tremendous aircraft. Can't wait to fly it myself. But at the outset, you mentioned a surprise. What is the surprise? Well, you know, I, we, we show this to people. We tell them about the features. Our beta testers fly it. And they say, OK, well, you know, what should this cost? And we generally get, all right, you know, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. This is less than ten. It's 9000 $695, that includes everything, that includes the payload, uh, everything that you need to fly. So it's under $10,000, it's a great drone and even greater imagery with all the security that you want. Fantastic. Now let's say I happen to have $10,000 burning in a hole in my pocket. How do I go about getting one of these and are they available yet? Uh, they're shipping in the, the fourth quarter starting in October. Uh, we've uh, made an arrangement with Enterprise UAS of Los Angeles. Uh, they are selling to other resellers and they're also selling to end users. So just go to Enterprise UAS and they're, they're on the web. You can call them, you can uh, interact with them online and they will hook you up. <laughs> well, sounds very cool. Well, Kelly, thanks so much for walking us through it. Yeah, thank you. Like I said, it's always great to be on the show. <laughs> and we love having you. All right, from Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off.